So today is Monday, August 1st which means it's laundry day not because it's august 1st but because it's a monday so when i get up i start gathering towels from the, the different bathrooms and i usually have enough for a complete load of towels so here i've already made my bed and done my morning hygiene and then i'll pour myself a cup of coffee and because we have an insulated pot, the coffee from yesterday is not burnt. So I'm just going to use some of yesterday's coffee and reheat it because I don't have the patience to brew an entire pot before I head to the garden. Catching those morning rays of sun is my goal here. So I'll just sit here and I usually pray. Sometimes I read and I drink my warmed up coffee and soak up that morning sun. I then either do some harvesting or some weeding. Um, here I am harvesting some cucumbers I've been collecting small cucumbers and storing them in my refrigerator until I have enough for making a batch of pickles. And I think what I harvest today is going to finish out my collection so that I have a complete batch for my canner. The next thing I'm going to do is move my irrigation hose. This is just a small soaker hose um, that I had running overnight. And I'm gonna move it to the other end of the strawberry patch to water the, that during the day today. I'm going to head to the house and start with some of the chores and hope that the kids will get up soon. First thing I do is let out all the adult dogs and the kids will take care of the puppies later. Letting the ducks out of the chicken house is next. Um, the ducks get locked up in the chicken coop at night and the water gets removed from the chicken coop so they don't make a mess. My chickens can't come out until later in the day because they had gotten into a habit of hiding their eggs from me. Uno is busy keeping her babies warm and I don't want to disturb her to see how many of the babies survived the night. And then just a little pet for the donkeys. I'm working my way back to the house. There's still no kids awake. I guess they're sleeping in after a busy weekend. I'm gonna water my planters and deadhead some of the geraniums. So back inside the house, I decided to clean the cast iron that got neglected over the weekend. And by this time, Elvin has brewed a f fresh pot of coffee. So I'm going to sit and work on my grocery list while I enjoy a fresh cup of coffee. So this is about the time Elvin heads off to work. I want to make cheese today, so I start by sanitizing my cheese pot and hopefully making enough of noise so that the kids wake up soon so that we can go to the barn and start with chores. I 
Yes, the kids are not going to wake up on their own this morning, so I'm gonna gather laundry and wake them up. When I go to the fridge to get myself a little bit of nourishment before we head to the barn, I see the big bowl of butter that we churned on Friday and never had time to finish working the buttermilk out. So I set that out so that we don't forget to finish that today. We are going to make cheese today, so we are bringing in yesterday's milk from the refrigerator and this morning's milk goes straight to the cheese pot. Mitchell wants to head out and mow before it gets hot. I am skimming off some of the thick layer of cream of the yesterday's milk because that thick layer will not incorporate into the milk. Kitchen starts to become a very busy place now that everybody is up. Um, Maxwell puts the clean dishes away. I'm getting my cheese pot started and of course the three little boys have not had breakfast yet.
Mitchell is already outside mowing the cow pasture and he's had his breakfast earlier. I stepped outside to make a phone call and Harrison and Maxwell decided to help themselves to a second breakfast of toast and jelly. Kendrick is trying to rescue one of his favorite cats from the tree. The dogs have treed this cat and even though I told him that the cat would just sit there until the dogs go away and then she will come down on her own, he got the ladder and wants to take this cat back to the barn. You want me to get her? Dump it all out. Mitchell is mowing our new lower pasture and he's mowing off all the annual weeds before they can drop their seeds and reproduce. Did you guys feed the chickens? Oh no! It's now time for the boys to do the puppy chores, which is to feed and water them and move the puppies outside to their outdoor kennel. The washer has been busy all morning and we've finally reached a place in our chores and other morning work where there's a couple children that have time to hang the laundry on the line. The children got distracted from their duty of hanging laundry on the line by checking their garden and they excitedly called for me to show me that they have not only a baby pumpkin, but some cucumbers that are ready to pick as well. Mitch was going to help me vacuum seal last week's five pound wheel of cheese before we put it into our cheese refrigerator to age it. I'm finally getting around to finishing the butter that we churned on Friday.
my milk is finally at the right temperature where I can add my culture for cheese making. I got it too hot and then I had to wait for it to cool back down. But now we're going to stir in the culture and then we're going to let it set again for an hour. We need to run some errands. We need to stop at the feed store and also at our neighbor's produce stand where I try hard not to get distracted with all the beautiful vegetables. And I stick to buying the herbs that I need for canning pickles today. <laughs> Two of those. Two? Well, you want to get more? <laughs> hey, no. We are back home again. It is time to get the chicken in the oven for supper. And also, I'm going to mix up some chocolate milk to go with our lunch. Everybody just had different leftovers for lunch and we topped it all off with some good fresh chocolate milk and Mitchell is at a local auction watching the farm machine resell. The oven is hot so that means it's time to put the chicken in for our supper. And I'm gonna start washing all these cucumbers that I've collected over the last week. And we're gonna can them into pickles today. Hadassah and the little boys are playing school and Maxwell wants to practice his multiplication table to me while I can pickles. Normally, I would ask the kids to help me chop the pickles, but they're all playing so nice that I'm just going to chop the pickles all by myself. The boys brought the jars up from the basement and I washed them good and we are ready to fill them with pickles. It's time to cut my cheese into curds. And then of course there's always cheese to stir. And I'm also getting my brine for the pickles ready.
It's time to pour the whey off of the cheese curds and also to tidy up the kitchen a bit before we finish the cheese and start making supper. The curds are ready to go into the cheese press. I've got my canning station set up outside, so we are going to water bath the pickles outside. Mitchell is on kitchen cleanup duty this afternoon and I'm making a quick brine for the rest of the cucumbers that didn't fit into my jars and we are going to make some refrigerator pickles. The chicken is all done, so it is time to head to the garden and get some veggies to add to the chicken. It's time to bring the laundry in so we can all fold it and put it away. Oh, 
Ooh, this is nice and cold. Hey, Harrison John. Harrison. What? It's nice and cold and warm and good. Oh, yeah. So it's once again time to clean up the kitchen. So supper is in the oven, or I should say the veggies are in the oven with the chicken now. And I'm going to wash up my dishes from my cheese making. Just waiting for the family to gather for supper. After supper, everybody works together to help clean up the kitchen and put the food away and wash all the dishes. I did send the kids outside to play and told them that I would finish up the kitchen. We had made such a mess in the kitchen that it really needed a mother's touch. I'm moving my drip tape to my green beans and I'll let that water all night. Hadassah brought a brush to the garden and asked me to French braid her hair. Alvin and Mitchell will now unload all the feed that we got earlier today. It's been a very good Monday. Elvin and Mature working on fixing a hog water and Hadassah and the little boys are playing with the donkeys. <laughs> 